Hi, I'm Annalise Days. And I'm Eb Zakintade, and welcome to the seventh British Urban Film Festival 2012. We're going to be talking to the actors, directors, and overall filmmakers to find out what they think about Buff and their overall experiences. It's going to be such an amazing night, so stay with us. Here with Nosa, the co-director of the film The Prayer. What does um, the British Urban Film Festival mean to you? Um, what it means to me is is is, is independence. Um, I'm very much a filmmaker who's about um, doing things and finding new ways to do things in the film. Now tonight is sponsored by Vanessa Blake um, Cosmetics, and it's all about you know that light, natural look, mineral foundation. Is that something you could get into? Most definitely. I'm all about the natural look, even though I've gone on the red lipstick today, you know. And also as well, the good products. I mean, for black skin, it's always good to find a product that's gonna work with your skin tone. And um, for me, oh, my problem's always dry. You know, some people are oily, some people are dry. Mine's always dry, so I need to find something that's light that you know works for my skin and I think Vanessa can do that. Yeah, Vanessa Blake's products are definitely very moisturizing, perfect for the natural woman. Have you been to the Buff Film Festival before? No, this is my first time. This is your first time and what are you looking to expect? Um, apparently there's some really good projects involved in the film festival I've heard about it before. Well, how did you get involved with Buff? Uh, I love everything that goes on with Buff. Um, they bring out some really really good raw talent and I'm really looking forward to tonight's film and the rest of the festival. It's all about getting down with the nitty gritty here at Buff and I am talking to the one and only filmmaker, Sheridan. And how did you get involved with Buff? Is this your first time here? Uh, no, I went, I came last year with a few friends and I watched their film. And um, I was like really impressed, I liked the whole vibe and I thought, you know what, let me just make a movie and hope I can enter it in Buff. So the main host for tonight's event is Will Johnson, one of the busiest men in TV yes. hosting this event. Is it the first time you've done it? First time I've done it, yep. I'm okay. really looking forward to it, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, how much do you know about the British Urban Film Festival? Do you know, do you know it quite well? I had a film that was screened um, under the umbrella of the festival two years ago, a film called Disoriented Generation. Okay. So I am familiar with the festival, so I've been in it in terms of like being in a film, uh, but now I'm hosting it, so I'm really looking forward to that. I love the British Urban Film Festival particularly because I think um, it's an outlet for filmmakers with a different kind of eye and a different kind of feel to get their movies out. And I want to see it grow and grow where this is like, you know, we're profiling huge films in the future. So tonight predominantly is about film, but we cannot forget the people that make the people in the films look good. I'm here with the chairman of Vanessa Blake, Kevin Gray. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Glad to come out to the event and having a great time. Nice crowd here. And uh, we look forward to seeing uh, the sponsorship of Vanessa Blake continuing on for this festival. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the Vanessa Blake cosmetic line? Well, Vanessa Blake is just one line GFS Invest is my company. We're a private equity firm in the States on Wall Street. Uh, we have controlling interest of Vanessa Blake since the beginning of the year, and uh, we're looking to turn it up a notch and make it a global brand. Um, I think it originally started as a line for women of color, and it's, out, it's outgrown that. Okay? And from here, with the sponsorship of stuff like this, and also um, bringing it to the States, which we're doing in the next couple of months, uh, we think it's a brand that could uh, really do things, and as far as profit-wise for a private equity firm, we, we love it. Melbourne Chronicles of a Player, I'm joined with Lawrence, the director. Tell us about the film. Um, it's just um, a spoof mockumentary, it's a labour of love. Um, you know, it's a comedy about men and uh, philanderers and li like the company of women a little bit too much. Is that something you can symp sympathise with quite easily? I absolutely do not. Um, I wish I did. But um, no, it's um, actually, it's just, 
what I've seen, and if it makes me laugh, then generally I kind of want to make a, a film from it. And, and there's a lot of people that I know who could be Melvin. And it's just like, you, you kind of sit around and you're like, you should be in a film, you should be in a film. So I just made one about it. And so why did you get involved in the project? Or was it the pro who, whose idea was the project initially? No, it was my idea. Um, and as I said, just the people that are around me at the moment, they're just, they're characters. So it, it kind of, it, it was born out of a short film that we did. It was, it, it did the festival circuit, it was very successful, won a lot of awards. So like a, a, a feature was just the natural progression really. So we just decided, okay, let's go for a feature. Well, I'm hearing now that everyone is just going in to see the film, so I'm going to let you go, enjoy it. Thank you very much for talking to us. So it's been an absolutely amazing night here at the British Urban Film Festival 2012. Amazing films, amazing people to talk to, hasn't it? Yes, and that exclusive screening of Chronicles of a Player was amazing. Loved every bit of it. Now we are going to be back next year for more incredible stuff from the British Urban Film Festival. I've been Evzak Intade. And I'm Annalise. And we'll see you, see you next, next year. year.